Hello everybody, my name is Talskar and today, well, for the last nine days I have been working on this little project which is basically the origin story of my character Talskar and which I never really told anyone about his origin story or anything about him for that matter. But other than that, I'm making this video not to show off what I've made or what I'm making, but to show off one thing that I've um, tr been taking all day to figure out because, hey, I made a work errand for this issue. Uh, let's see. We walk into this room. We talk to this chick here, and she just gives you a normal thing, she says. Now, what I want to happen on the other side of this door is I go and talk to someone and then that sets off a change of events in which when I come back in this room she goes blah 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 and tells me that I need to do work. Now I've only gotten that far with what I'm doing to make this a little bit more of just a backstory but to go even further than having just the backstory but having individual events in between to contribute towards who he will become or who he is. Now I don't think this has noise or sound for some weird reason because it's mute, and we're only checking this out, blah, it's a bit loud, but anyway, we're going to see what it looks like currently, okay, so, now we're here, hello, okay, get out of my way, I want to go and talk to the lady, and that's what she's, wait, is that spelt wrong, uh, he's in my way again, Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, that's spelled correctly. I'm I'm actually going to have a friend. Hopefully, he might want it, because he wanted to. He's interested in what I'm doing, so yeah, he's, he's kind of interested. Now, I'm going to talk to anyone other than the people that I really, really want to talk to. And I don't really, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to bring in spoilers, so I'm just going to shift this to another screen and press space a million times over and now the event has ended so I'll bring it back over and that triggered something to happen and basically that's only a story part there's nothing ultra important but it is important to me that you only get the parts which are here we go this is what I wanted this here is what I've been working on and some people have been telling me to go do tutorials and stuff now I completely overlooked this method that I had invented only because something happened to this event here the one that's walking around he just suddenly stopped right here and wouldn't move no more and that made my mind go stupid like he's stopped right now he's not moving anymore so, I went and explored what was going on, and there was a vent that I placed right where I'm standing, and it kept getting stuck on the event. So, technically, I'm an event, and he's stuck on me, so you can't progress. Now, if I talk to her, she might do the same thing. Yep, I expected that to happen. So, basically, what I've done is I've set up, set up a second event with the same... Uh, I'm hoping this doesn't do any spoilers. No, not really. There's not really any spoilers here. So basically, layer one, you go up to her and you can trigger action button to talk to her. The second one is a little bit different. It doesn't use the action bar uh, button, but I'll show you what it does. It has the walking animation, it has stepping animation, and directional fix. Now, I should really make it so that she approaches you, and make it so that you have to wait here, so that she can basically say whatever she wants to you. And I should really make this event erase altogether. So then it doesn't ever come back. But it might be important in case you don't do the event. Now I've been using variables in sets of 10 per map area. So basically like chapter 1 has 10, chapter 2 has 10 and so on and so forth. This is using 22 instead of 21. I'm pretty sure I'm using 21 for something else. This is 22. And the value is set to 201, so when it's 201 or above, that's when this event will um, trigger. But if it's below 201 and set to 200, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to trigger at all. 
Now, I'm not sure. I should really double check something, though, to make sure it's not gonna go cuckoo on me. I'm gonna enter this area because I've set this up to do something, but I don't think it should do anything because I've set it up. Yeah, I do have a safeguard in place there. The safeguard being um, the conditional branch. Now, the conditional branch only activates if number 20 equals value of 209. Now, 209 is from talking to that elder guy and me just pressing buttons randomly on the keyboard or whatever you want to call it. You don't need to know the details, that old guy, and blah, 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 blah. And then what happens is he sets it to 209 variable. Now, when I come to her, uh, if I go to her before, the variable is 210. So when I go to her after talking to that guy, the variable is set to 209. 209 exactly. Now, if it's 208, this will never trigger. This will never happen. It will go to the else statement, which will erase the event, and nothing will happen. The parallel process is something apparently that completely tries to go over and over and over again. It's like an auto run. But you need the erase event, otherwise it just keeps going over and over and over and over again, apparently. Something like that. <clears throat> so to stop this from looping over and over and over again, the control variable at the end is basically set to a number negative to that of 201 or above. So 201 to infinity, basically my zeros will represent infinity, 201 to infinity is when it will activate. But if it's less than 201, and infinity, if it's less than just 201, basically, I'll change this from that to slash 202, 200 to, um, I don't know how to do this. If it's like zero, should I say, that is when, it, okay, this is just wrong, 201, that's, that's when it will not trigger. Now, I had some guy tell me, that I should do something a particular way. I should go and look at the tutorials, and while not a bad idea, it, it's not going to help me very much considering I struggle to interpret most of the stuff that goes on. Now, we'll basically in map 200, 2001. Now, I've set my maps up so I know exactly what's going on, what I'm doing. Those are two branching paths that go off two different directions. You can have a look at them overview of what the village basically looks like and what characters are there. It's not a major vital thing for you to know what this character does or this one or this one or this one or this one. All, all you need to know is they're just characters in town that want to be very extremely nice to you and love you and cherish you like you're a god. Well, maybe not exactly, but you'll have to wait and see. So basically, that's all I'm going to show for this. I'm going to ask you, just because I've actually showed you and you're basically looking at this and you're wondering, oh, it's an origin story. Is that the name of the game, Tauskar Begins? I, I kind of looked at that name for quite a long time and I was thinking, I, I really should change that. I really don't like Tauskar Begins. It just sounds too childish to say it like that. I feel like saying Tauskar Origins or Tauskar's Origins, something like that. And I'm wondering whether I should use Tauskar Origins or Tauskar Begins. And I will leave that up to you guys if you're willing to comment and let me know what you'd like to um, see this game named as when it's finished or what it should be named as now. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, so that's why I'm not going to show anything else. But I would like to show the people that I've um, been talking to and telling things about of what I'm doing, what I'm creating, and telling them that I'm a noob. Because I am a noob. I only started doing this stuff nine days ago, and my god, I feel like I've achieved a lot with what I have, considering I talked to several of my friends, and they basically said, oh, we couldn't do that in the time that you did, and I'm like, um, okay. Because in my eyes, I'm pretty sure professionals would have already finished all this stuff, but I could be completely wrong, because I'm not running smooth. Basically, I'm going as I figure things out, or I figure things out as I go. 
so, something like that in similar order. It doesn't have to be that exact order. Well, anyway, the second thing I would like to ask you is if I should do custom art music and tile sets. And the reason I asked you this is because if I was to do such, I do not have the skills or software or programs necessary, so I may have to ask someone else if they'll be able to contribute and help me out with this um, artistic stuff and some musicals. Although I do have a piano in my room, everyone just about knows that. I pretty much am um, useless on it, but I'm happy to try and do something at least, like just randomly press keys and hope for, you know, God's wish to happen. But other than that, the first third thing I'll say, first third thing I should ask, uh, is if I should add any special effects. Now, I don't know if it's even possible yet, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it in other people's games. It's like, you come along to your game and grey scales out, or it goes to Dreamland and you play as Captain Dreamland, or it auto-runs events or whatever. Now, I do have my own special effects in map, uh, M-Map 001, and what's in there is basically the effect that you go into a battle, you get to half health, something happens, another guy appears in battle, and you're evened odds against a boss, basically, and that's actually the very first battle you have in the game, which is interesting, but it is to do with the story, not an actual thing that's related to how Tauska is who he is today, but it relates to who, how he um, is chosen, basically, to do what he's meant to do. Now, before I go any further, I should really consider saying goodbye because I'm just dropping a little bit of spoilers and I don't really want to drop spoilers. The game is going to have its own secrets and you'll never know where they are until it's too late. Where someone else finds it and you want to make a video on so-called secrets you know so much about but yet you don't know where they are because you couldn't find them. And so that's why I'm going to be like, you know, it's your loss because you couldn't find them. But then again, I'm proud of you for trying. So anyway, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. The more comment, the more people like my content, the more I'll post. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Blah, blah, blah. Bye. Or should I say, Echo really ISIS, everybody. Sorry. I, I really should change the way I say it. Acrophiliosis, everyone.